Hey everybody, Rich here. In this video I'm going to show you how to add in DuckDuckGo as either your alternative search engine or your primary search engine in the Google Chrome browser. Now, If you don't know what DuckDuckGo is, it's a funny name, but it's a great search engine. So if I go in here, for example, search for PC Mac, and there it is, and so on. Nice and easy. Uh, if I leave my mouse alone, I can go up and down with the uh, up and down arrows and there's also suggestions and it is privacy minded. Speaking of privacy for a moment if you would like to do this using the uh, SSL socket version of DuckDuckGo type the address in as HTTPS colon slash slash and then you'll notice it's green up here with a lock which means it's uh, more secure searching. So if you're really intent on having a very secure search I don't I'm not gonna say it's completely anonymous because I don't know to be honest if uh, that is truly anonymous searching or not but it's close enough for most people so you can either do the regular duckduckgo.com or HTTPS colon slash slash duckduckgo.com now to add this in to Chrome I can go to the duckduckgo homepage and right click and then add as search engine. To make this easy, the name should just be, uh, type it out as DuckDuckGo. Now, as far as the keyword is concerned, this depends on your personal preference. For this example, I will use Duck. That's it. You don't have to touch the URL field because that's proper. Or you could change it to something more simpler like DDG for DuckDuckGo or just D. Now it's showing a uh, exclamation point here because I already have something else assigned to D, but you can either you can have it as any word you want for the keyword, and I'll show you how the keyword works in a moment. But we'll just use duck and hit OK. Now, if I'm on another site, for example, like PC Mac, and I want to go to my address bar and search duck duck go for something, I can click in here and just type the word duck space. You notice how it changed? Search duck duck go. Or PC Mac and it will go to DuckDuckGo and search for PC Mac and it works like that. Now let's just say I want to have DuckDuckGo as my default search engine in Chrome all the time. For this one I go to wrench menu and then to tool, oh no not tools, options. Yeah, options and on the basics tab you see search here, just go to manage search engines now I have two DuckDuckGo's here and the reason for that is because I went to the site and then Chrome automatically added excuse me added it in so I don't need this one because the one I assigned is named for the keyword duck so I know that's mine this one I can just hit the X and it goes away so for this one all I have to do is just make default and now DuckDuckGo is the default search engine as it shows up here now what happens is that whenever I type in anything that is not a web address, a word or a phrase, in the address bar it will search the internet through DuckDuckGo for that phrase. So if I type in say uh, Fender Stratocaster enter, notice it went to DuckDuckGo and it performed the search and it gave me the information that I wanted and that's it. Now for those of you wondering can you do this with other search engines, of course you could. By default, Chrome does this automatically with the Google search engine. But if you wanted something different, such as Scroogle or Bing or any number of other search engines out there, you can do it as long as it excuse me, as long as it is a page, a search engine that has a form. As long as it has a place to type in, I can right click, add a search engine, and then you do what I showed you before, <clears throat> excuse me, and you can have as many search engines in here as you want, and as many keywords as you want, as long as two search engines don't have the same uh, keyword. For example, you notice a moment ago I showed you I couldn't use the D. Now the reason for that is I actually have the Wiktionary for definitions of words assigned to D. Now what that is if you don't know what Wiktionary is, that's uh, W-I-K-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y dot O-R-G. 
is for looking up words. So if I want to look up a word, I have that assigned to key letter D. So I D space search Wiktionary computer. And it goes to the Wiktionary and it gives me the pronunciation and the noun, the uh, in quotations, synonyms, hyponyms, or hyponyms, however that's said, and so on. It just basically tells me what it is. So when I ha run across a word that I don't know, I just go to the Wiktionary and search that, and I have that with key letter D. For everything else, I will use DuckDuckGo, and since I have it set as my default, if I did the same thing, just search for the word computer, it will go to DuckDuckGo first. If I want something else, like the Wiktionary, I have go to uh, D space computer and it will define it for me. If I want an image of a computer, I actually have that set to key letter I for Google Images, so I space computer and it goes to Google Images and it finds my stuff. And I personally think this is a much faster way of doing computing in the browser because I can just do a control L and I think F6 will work too. Yes it does. So you can do F6 or control L to jump to the bar and then just type your keyword and then the search term and go for it. But anyway, this was about DuckDuckGo, so if you want to try that with DuckDuckGo first, be my guest, or Google if you want, or Bing, or whatever search engine that you use. But I like DuckDuckGo because it's fast, it's simple, and the duck is happy. <laughs>